Hello and welcome to another edition of the Speed Shop, Motorcar Speed Shop. So the trail rig is coming along quite nicely. Chassis built, four links done. Okay, okay, it's not really a four link. I was really hoping in the beginning that we were going to shorten up the wheelbase on this thing. That didn't actually happen. The four link bars that I had were really... Um, I should have done a lot more measurements and stuff like that for it because I needed something that was the center or the top four links needed to be a lot shorter. But this actual setup is going to work decent, I guess. It's basically a three link style setup. Um, it's going to work just fine. It's still going to have the articulation I really want with the rig. And I think it's going to work as well as it can, at least in the beginning. Uh, there are some other little problems that we got rolling in. Uh, one of them being the uh, back servo is impacting the chassis. I could clearance the chassis, make the chassis look yucky, but yucky, that was a great word. But <laughs> let's not do that because I think that just kind of would look cruddy. So what I'm going to do is actually take the servo and just space it out. Maybe about, I don't know, five millimeters or something like that and probably get it out behind here. I am way more worried about approach angles than I am departure angles. So approach angles being the front axle, as far as it coming up to it, I don't, an obstacle or anything like that, I don't want that thing to kind of impact it. Not real worried if this thing grabs onto something. It's going to be pretty well protected out back because obviously back again, we're going to run some pretty good sized wheels and tire package. When it comes to dampers, I got these cheapo repo little things. I like them just because they look with the remote reservoir, which is fake, by the way. Just rebuilt these little suckers. These were on the TRX-4, and they worked pretty good. These dual-rate springs, I was testing those alongside. And I think they're going to be a nice package for this because this car is... I mean, it's much like a real-deal monster truck. Monster trucks out there, all the weight is in the wheel and tire package. The chassis and the body and everything weighs way less than that. So this truck is going to have that same problem with the engine and the servos in the axles themselves. All that's up top is basically electronics and the chassis. Is so really light springs, probably be the case. I like to run a thick fluid. I'm running a 30 weight in this thing, at least as of yet. I've run all the way up to 50 weight. I like that because the compression and rebound of the shock, I like it to be very slow because you're not looking for like a trophy truck where you're going to run, or even the monster truck style stuff, where I actually run a 10 weight because I'm wanting it to actually work very, very quickly. So compress and um, expand very fast to soak up any bumps. You're not worried about this. This thing is going to be somewhat of a rock bouncer, and but more of a crawler than it is anything else. Another obstacle to actually be worked on is where to amount electronics. I kind of want to keep them up just a tiny bit in the chassis. Uh, it's not a huge deal. The center of gravity of this thing is not incredibly outrageous. Um, going to probably use something a little bit unorthodox, which actually is being used in the TRX-4, where I mounted the electronics up above some stuff to get it up higher as well. There's a metal plate. I talked about that, amounting it to that. I think I'm actually going to cheat a little bit. This is a little thing in the body shop world or mechanic world or auto glass world. This is basically a little pry panel you can use for door cards, anything like that. Anything that you don't want to damage paint finishes or don't want it to be a little bit softer than a regular crow's paw or upholstery tool. This thing's got about the right angle, so double side tape it there where this thing will stick up a little bit higher. That way you can mount the on-off switch, which is back over here, and mount that somewhere where you can actually reach it and somewhere where it's protected. So if the car gets on its top, gets on its side, it's not just going to turn the rig off. So we've got that little deal. We've got some super soft tires with these cool, a well, I guess a real deal beadlock wheels, at least on the front, not on the back. And then I may work a little bit with spacers. So I've got a handful of these little suckers and maybe move the wheels in and out to probably help a little bit with clearance size. I think it's going to be just fine because the actual factory ones, which are just really, really lightweight pieces, there's not much weight to these things at all. And these tires aren't near as sticky as the ones we're going to put on there. So I think this thing's going to be a very capable trail rig. So... We got a bunch of stuff to button up. Next up on this is going to be getting that sh uh, shock and spring package on the rig and get it to try it out. 
make sure we can get everything to articulate and get it to working right. We'll move that servo back. We'll mount the electronics. And then, gosh darn, it's pretty much ready to roll. So uh, just a handful, a little bit, mm, handful. Well, eh, it's, there's a fair amount of work to be done. So we'll get it done quick. We'll do a back exit video once we get the thing pretty much together. And at least for first testing, we'll get some video of that thing actually out testing. And then hopefully soon we can get this thing pretty well sorted. So uh, I think it's going to be a really fun rig. I'm kind of excited about it. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Thanks for watching.